You know, Donianna County has a very high rate of uh, teen pregnancy. People are often wondering what makes this area perhaps different than other parts of the state because those numbers are higher. But uh, it's also important to know that teen pregnancy relates a lot to economic status, educational levels, job opportunities, uh, level of, of school attainment, uh, cultural issues, a, a wide variety of other what are called social components to things like teen pregnancy. I was kind of scared. I, I cried because I didn't know what to do. I got like excited at first and then I got a little bit scared because I wasn't sure how I was going to take care of him. I don't know, I was just scared. I didn't think I could do it, but I'm doing it. I was in shock. I was scared. I was in denial. Having a child at this age would really mess up your life a lot because you would have to get rid of your friends, you have to get rid of school to take care of your child, waste money on stuff for the baby. Well, if you don't have a baby, then you could be fine with your life. And just because, you know, this happened to them doesn't mean that their life is over. Doesn't mean if there's so it's about the families. Like then you have to learn all this stuff about being a parent and like you're just not ready to be a parent at this age. So. Oh my gosh, that shade of lip gloss is so cute. Oh, I know, it'd be so pretty with that gorgeous red dress. Oh my gosh, it would. Hello? Oh, hey, Zach. No way. Nicole, what is it? All right, just call me tonight. Jocelyn, guess what? What? My brother just got into MIT. Oh my gosh, no way. I've always wanted to go there. I know, and it'd be cool if we could go together someday, but it might be weird because my brother goes there. Maybe not. <laughs> Texting. Cameron, he wants to know if we're going to the party tonight. Mm -hmm. He says there's going to be no adults there. It'd be so cool. We better go get ready. Well, in my family, they would say get married before having any sex uh, to always have protection. Um, and be careful who you do that with because it has a lot of responsibility in case of a teenage pregnancy. I'll give you an example. I had a, I had a couple students here last year. They were both eighth graders, and um, one of the girls had gotten pregnant, and the father was just, I, he couldn't even speak. He was just shocked. Didn't know what he was going to say, what he was going to do, how he was going to tell his parents. They're just as shocked as the young ladies are. I know how it feels to not have a father there. Because um, when I was just raised, my mom had five kids, and just her by herself, and I know how hard it was for her. And, you know, it's just easier and better to have a father there for us. It's important, very important to me, for my son. The father of my baby is involved, but it's like, things have changed a lot between us. Like, we're not together, but he's involved. If the fathers can be involved, then um, that baby wins. And that's the whole point. If the big guys don't get along after a while, you know, the, the moms and the dads, they still share that child, and that child deserves to know that two people love them and care about them. Me and my boyfriend were still together, and we were planning on later getting married, hopefully, and I don't know. So he's involved a lot. He's working while at, so I can still go to school and finish my education. And so I can rest and be there with the kid, and he can go work and get the money. <laughs> hey, Jay, what's up? Hey, man, what's up? No, I'm just waiting for Nicole to get here. Nice. How are you and Nicole? Pretty good. Hoping tonight's the night. Aw, uh, uh, nice. <laughs> I'm hoping to score tonight, too. Good luck with that. Hey, who's that chick right there? I don't know. Oh, hey, I see Cameron at the bar. Sure, just touch me for your boyfriend. I think I'm gonna go say what's up. <laughs> Peace out. There you go. Good luck. Hey. Hey. Um, what took you so long to get here? I don't know, Jocelyn took forever to get ready, sorry. <laughs> it's all good. You wanna go dance? Sure. All right, let's go. I knew it could happen, but I never thought, like, I thought I, w I, thought I would even be smarter than that and, like, You never not, know what's gonna happen yeah. to you. That's what it is. Like, it's you like, never know what's gonna happen to you. 
you think, oh, it could, it could, but no, I'm, I'm too careful, or, but, mm, happens to anyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, gorgeous, who are you here with? My friends. My name's Jocelyn. Hey, this music's kind of lame. Do you want to go back to my house? My parents are at a movie. Are you kidding me? No. How do you like your eggs in the morning? Unfertilized, jerk. Dude, you just got dissed. Oh, they're so cute together. I know. You look cute tonight. <laughs> Thanks. So, what time do you have to be home? I told my parents I was staying at Joss's tonight. So you'll be here a while. <laughs> yeah, we could spend some time together. How about we go upstairs and spend some time together? Um, okay. Oh my gosh, I can't believe she said yes to going upstairs with him. Why would she agree to that? Get some, get some, do work. We're only in eighth grade. <laughs> and there's something that people like feel like they feel pressured into doing it, but it's just really like up to you. Like, if you want to wait, like a lot of people say, oh, I want to wait till I get married. Like, I would, I think that would be a good idea. Like, you don't have to, like, it's like, Nobody like really cares. Like if it's up to you, nobody else. It's like your body. Nicole, if your stomach's really bothering you, you should really go talk to your doctor. I know. I'll talk to you later, Joss. All right? Is she pregnant? It's all over school. It's none of your business. And don't be talking about her. She's probably not coming back. Whatever. Let's go talk to her. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What are you talking to them about? I just told them it's none of their business. Don't worry about it. Okay, because I'm probably not coming back to school, and I don't want people talking about me because I have to find a job. Their first option in their head is, well, now I, now my life is settled. I'm going to be a mom or I'm going to be a dad, so I've got to stop going to school. And that's, so they perceive that, and, and we feel that, no, wrong answer. <laughs> they need to stay in school. I'm a dual credit student for Anata High School, which is half college and half high school. Um, I've been doing landscaping. It's a normal ranch for a while, so I saved up a lot of money two, two summers ago and last year. So I was prepared and preparing myself for what's going to go on. Um, I'm graduating this May, so after that I, I'm continuing architecture engineering. Hey, Mom. Look at this pretty new dress I just got for the dance. And I got matching shoes and accessories. Hey, Mom. I got these brands of diapers because the other brand is too expensive. We won. We are down by like 11 points in 20 minutes. <laughs> good job, good job. All right, relax for just a minute. My counselor is saying that I should take some AP classes next year, so it'll help me get into MIT. Wow, that's fantastic. I'm so proud that you're planning ahead. Bye, honey. I have to go to work now. Thanks so much. We're really going to reduce teen pregnancy as much as possible. We have to realize that doing things like just getting kids to graduate from school, making sure there's economic opportunities in the community are actually critical components of that, uh, as well as a lot of the other things relating to uh, education about pregnancy. We need to let our kids know what our expenses are. We need to let them know the responsibilities. They need some simple responsibilities at home even taking care of a pet or something so that they see it's not all about them. And again, I think we need to spread the message to all young people that, again, this is not some horrible, terrible, evil thing. Uh, it's something we would just prefer that be postponed until you're mature enough and responsible enough to really take care of your own family. So, what time did you have to be home? I told my parents I was staying at Joss's tonight. So you'll be here a while. Yeah, we get to spend some time together. Um, how about we go upstairs and spend some time together? Um... How about we just stay down here and dance? Sounds good to me. <laughs>